past and present. Okay. What, have you heard anything about it at all? Of course, it's a famous story, you know. If you've been down here, you always hear that story, you know. But I wasn't around during the time, but my grandmother and grandfather and everybody always talks about it, you know. What did they tell you? That it was one of the biggest massacres in the world, you know. That it was over props and just a way of living, you know. The yeah. blacks wanted to be treated fairly with their crops and the whites didn't want it. So, you know, we, um, that's what, that's what basically what it was about so far if, you know, from what I understand it was about, you know, right. you know, it, but now we're just people trying to make a living. Yeah. You know, we all try to get along down here in this country and make a living. I feel like uh, the situation still, um, you know, is there racial tension still down here? Somewhat, but not as as you would expect, you know. Because if somebody races down here, they let you know. You know, it's not like you don't, you know, you have to guess at it at all, you know. It's, it's, it's point blank that I don't like blacks, you know, it's just, it just in your face, you know. Right. There is, there is still races in this world, and yeah, some people down here, they still are racist, you know, but it don't bother me none, as long as I can work and take care and feed my family, I'm fine with it, because I know who I am as a man, you know, so it really doesn't bother me at all about anybody hating me because of the color of my skin, you see? It don't matter to me. I'm just a hard working man trying to make a living like everyone else, you know? Right. But yeah, there is racist down here and there's, there's a lot of it, but like I said, it's not like you don't know because who are racist, they let you know, you know? Have you had any personal encounters or stories that you, that stick out in your mind? <laughs> so many, but I don't care to share them because it's not like it's, it's it it determines how I live my life, you know. Uh, it, it just what it is, you know. If people don't like you because of your skin color, they won't speak to you. They won't uh, acknowledge you as a man. Um, I could tell you one. It, it was just I went in to a store and. A man asked me, why am I in this store? And I was like, I'm in here to purchase certain things. And he was like, but you're black. I, I didn't know how to take that. So, you know, I got my family and we walked out. And like I said, it's not like you don't know in the South whether a person is prejudiced or not because they let you know. And we was going in there to eat. And he, when he said that, I didn't want my family to eat there. You know, because he was he was letting me know that my kind and I don't I don't like saying that that an African American wasn't welcome in his place. So you know, yeah. So I didn't want to put my family through that. You know, and it's, you especially don't want to eat from nowhere. Nobody asking you why are you in there and they fixing your food. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you know, I just left out. You know. And it's just a lot of instances that I think of, and like I said, don't determine my life. And it 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 bothers you because you know you you're human, and you think of these things, and you be like, why? But it doesn't bother me to the point to where I go home and stress about it, and and meditate on it, and all of that. It just it is what it is in this world this, these days, you know. It just some people don't like other people. Don't make good sense, but that's what it is. They don't have to know you. They don't even have to acknowledge you. Like I said, they don't even acknowledge you as a man. They just hate you because you who you are. You black, and then I don't understand it, and I never will. But I have to live for my daughter, so. 
hear anything about black people losing land that they had owned. Oh, that's a lot of that down here. You hear that everywhere down here. And I don't know the history of that and everything, but you know, it's a lot of that down here. There's a lot of backstories that the older people say that this used to be so and such and so and so land and this used to be their land and the white man took it and all of that. Uh, you know, I don't really get involved in that because I really don't know for sure. And I didn't search the history, so I don't really know if it's true or not. But I don't know why they would, you know, just point blank out lie to you like that, you know. There's a lot of people say that down here. I've heard it a lot. Yeah, I have too in my life. I'm 40 years old and I have heard it a lot too. Yeah, we actually were out yesterday and we found some uh, gravestones. Uh, they were very ornate uh -huh. gravestones and they were from 100 years ago. Right. And it uh, had to be somebody who fairly well off because you know it's like a five foot tombstone. Wow. And uh, it's you know been told to me that there aren't any white people buried down here. Have you heard that? I have heard that and I don't know how true that is but that is a big story down here that said that no white person wants to be buried on this ground. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. I don't, I don't know. All of them basically be buried in Helena or what's close to them, Memphis and, and basically Tennessee or West Helena, Arkansas, you know, or Helena, Arkansas. Not down in this area at all. I got a lot of a lot of my family members that buried down here. I don't know why they don't be buried down here because it's a 90%, I would say even 98% white owned land, you know? Right. Do you have any idea, you don't, you don't have any idea why they would do that? <laughs> Not none that comes to mind, you know, is it's land. I mean, it's their land. Yeah. Why wouldn't they want to be buried on a spot of their land picked out for their families? Um, I don't know. I guess it's just tradition in their families to be buried where their other family was buried and not on the land that they own. That they own. I don't know. Maybe, you know. <laughs>